Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing what I think is the best lost model finder on the market, the Drone Keeper Mini. If you've ever lost your quad in some long grass or bushes, you know just how frustrating it can be trying to find it. Most of us have a buzzer on our quads that can be triggered by a switch on the transmitter. And some quads, like the Vortex 250 and 150, have a buzzer that's automatically triggered when there's no receiver signal. If you've got your receiver telemetry set up, you can even use the RSSI reading on your radio to find the general direction and distance of your lost quad. Now this is great, but what happens when you crash and the battery flies off or it gets disconnected? You just have to hunt around where you thought you crashed until you find it. This is where the Drone Keeper Mini comes in. It's got its own battery and is incredibly easy to use and set up. As you can see, it's a pretty small device that's got its own LiPo battery in here and a loud piezo buzzer here. And it works by using an accelerometer as a motion sensor. If it stops moving for a set time, and the default is 30 seconds, it sounds a loud alarm until it's turned off. It's basically got two modes of working, wireless and wired. And wireless mode is actually the simplest to use. You simply strap this to your quad, turn it on before you fly. The flashing red LED shows it's powered up and it's working. And the yellow LED, when it's set on, is actually showing that the motion detector is active. If it stops moving, the yellow LED turns off and 30 seconds later the alarm will sound and it's pretty loud. Yep, there we go and the only way to stop this is to turn it off with the switch. The buzzer in here seems to use the same resonator that is used on these uh, voltage monitors and we all know how loud those are. According to the specs, with a fully charged battery, uh, the alarm will sound for two and a half hours, which is hopefully enough time for you to find your quad. I actually think the best way to use this is the second of the wireless modes. You strap the drone keeper to your quad and connect this supplied lead and connector to your main quad LiPo battery. And the voltage input range is 5 to 17 volts, so you can use a 2, 3 or 4S LiPo. This makes sure that the standalone battery in the drone keeper is fully charged and has the added option of a low battery alarm. And you can program this to trigger anywhere between 3.2 and 3.6 volts. So we've got it connected up with this supplied lead. And you would normally connect this to your LiPo battery in the wiring of your quad. I've got it connected to my bench power supply, which is currently sitting at 16.8 volts, which is the same as a fully charged 4S LiPo. So if we turn this on, you can see here the solid yellow shows that the LiPo is charging in here. The flashing red shows that the device is working. And because I'm moving it around, the motion sensor is lighting the yellow LED on the top here. So we need to keep this moving to stop it triggering. So let's wind the voltage down to simulate the LiPo battery on the quad going down. So that's at 14 and a half volts. Uh, it's coming down to, there we go. That's 13.7 volts and it's starting to alarm. So that represents about 3.4 volts per cell and we can turn that off. So in this mode you've got all the advantages of the uh, lost model alarm going whenever it becomes disconnected and you've got the added bonus of a low voltage alarm. Additionally if this is turned on and working in this mode let's turn the voltage back up because that's alarming so that's sitting at 16 and a half volts all working nicely, you're flying around, 
you have a crash and this becomes disconnected and it immediately starts alarming so if this falls off or the battery gets ejected from your quad then this will start beeping like this and the only way again to stop it is to find your quad and turn off the alarm the second mode that you can run this in is the wired mode and this allows you to connect the input on here to your receiver and in this mode it will trigger the alarm as soon as it detects that the RX signal is missing and it will also detect if the voltage is low although the wired receiver mode is very clever I've been using this on my quads in the wireless standalone mode with the input connected to the main quad LiPo to keep it charged it's by far the easiest and quickest to set up. You can also use a standalone USB charger to charge the Drone Keeper battery. They supply this little adapter here, which you plug in this way around. It's a bit difficult to see. I've got a USB charger here. Plug that in and the blue LED is showing that you're getting power from the USB charger and the yellow LED is showing that the Drone Keeper battery is charging and this will turn off when it's fully charged as you can see it's a pretty small device and it weighs less than six grams so you're not going to leave a lot of room for this and it won't affect the quad flying too much I think this is an almost perfect product and I'd highly recommend it. The only slightly annoying thing is the connector pins. Uh, the labels are difficult to see and the on off switch direction isn't labeled. It's easy enough to mark this on the heat shrink cover with a sharpie or something but it would have been great if it was already printed on here. I actually think that the Drone Keeper Mini is one of the most useful pieces of tech I used in a very long time. It's extremely effective and trivial to set up and use. I don't fly without it now, and it's not expensive, so I factor the cost of one into every single build. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to answer them. And I'll see you next time.